Hello everyone and welcome to a much needed tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to get um, face posing working in Team Fortress 2. Um, so the first thing we're going to be needing is to get a beta version of the SDK. Now, depending on how long it's been since it, this tutorial was made, you might not need to do this. Valve might have made that version of the SDK official, and thus you wouldn't need to. Just to check, like you can go into the SDK um, on your own and just see if there's a little drop-down box at the bottom determining which um, version of the engine you want to work with. And if that's there, then you don't need to do this. So I have a separate shortcut to Steam here, Steam with the SDK beta. So um, here's basically what it looks like. Um, it just goes to steam.exe and then you add at the end dash beta uh, space src sdk0122. So beta source sdk0122. And that'll give you the beta version. And uh, the only problem is, most of you have Steam like running on startup, I'm guessing, and that's going to cancel that out and reinstall the original version. So what you want to do is, um, once you're in Steam, which I'm going to open it up now. Alright, I'm just going to go into friends and uh, make myself appear offline. Sorry to all my friends, but it's just I can't afford to be IM'd in the middle of this. Basically, just go to settings and... Uh, change the uh, interface so it won't run when Steam starts I mean it won't run when Windows starts then um, you're going to move the shortcut that you made copy this into your startup folder in all programs startup and you can just paste it here and well just open it here and then you can paste it and Steam will run on startup in the same way I've also added one little parameter to this one which is the dash silent parameter that'll make it so that it won't show up like show a window in your face like when you open steam it's how it starts on startup normally so that's probably what you'd prefer alright so now we should have the beta version of the SDK um, for you it might show a little loading thing for a little while if this is the first time you're running the beta just double click it and you'll see the new version Obviously, since it's beta, I can't make any guarantees of whether it'll work for you. Alright, so here we go. As you might expect, we should be in the orange box engine version. And then, for current game, pick Team Fortress 2. And then we're going to open Face Poser. Alright, so for some inexplicable reason, um, the new face browser doesn't seem to quite work with uh, my 1024 by 768 resolution. I just use that for recording. Um, hopefully resizing it higher won't mean that this will be a lot slower. So if you see my mouse lagging a little bit, that might be why. Anyway, so now we're going to make um, a choreography in the same way as normal. I've actually already made one. Um, it's just a... Uh, a little sample of Pinky on, in the brain I just took off YouTube. And then the brain VCD is uh, obviously a different one. Um, so you can still use gestures, just like um, in Half-Life 2, but there aren't quite as many. Like There are some just for some of the different um, like actions, like cheering someone on, go, uh, you know, making a little fist there, calling for help, you know, and um, as usual, you can change their facial expressions as well. So, now there's one extra thing you need to do. You need to go to, like, once you've saved your choreography, go to File, Rebuild Scenes Image. This is a listing of all the scenes in the game that you're playing, and without it, the game won't recognize your scene, and probably won't play it if you ask it to. So once you've done everything you want to in choreography, you rebuild this, and this will take a little while, but not too long, and once that's done, you're ready to go in game and try it out. Alright, so now we're in Team Fortress 2, I've just loaded up a map here with the console command, um, map, whatever, 
And so um, now all we need is another actor for us to try out our scene. No one's joining. Well, that's not always the case, so you can um, actually do something else. You see, in the commentary, Valve actually did implement bots for this game, but they don't move or really do anything without their own commands. So, first, you're going to set cheats on, obviously. SV underscore cheats 1. And then, the command is bot space and then dash team uh, red or whatever. I Just as a note, I think that for blue it's BLU, not B-L-U-E. I could be wrong, though. And, um, so then red, and, uh, class engineer. You spell it out like that. And, uh, you can also say name, uh, brain if you really want, but that probably won't make too much of a difference. And so now if I go back and look and spawn, he should be right here. Now he's not really going to do much of anything. Oh, one thing I should also remind you, um, how to get teams to not balance themselves. It's MP auto team balance, set that to zero. And then um, MP teams unbalance limit, you can set that to a maximum of 30. So then that'll just make sure that it won't like prevent people from joining a certain team. So now um, chances are your team chances are your machine isn't going to take place entirely in spawn, so to move him, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go out and stand uh, on top of here, face this way, Pinky's going to be right there, and um, go into the console and say get pause position, and uh, it's going to give me a command to set my position here, so if I were to put that in the console, I'd teleport right back there, but we want to do that for the bot, so we enter in the console bot underscore teleport, and then we're going to paste in most of the stuff that was uh, in there, but we're going to take out the command um, and replace it with the bot's name, brain, and then uh, most of these numbers I'm just going to leave in, take out this little set angle command, um, that's for the like direct command version, you know, and uh, hopefully that'll work. And you can see he got teleported right there. And so I'm just going to add pinky now. Bot team red. Class sniper. Uh, name pinky. And uh, I'm going to get pause for right here. And then set him there. And just remember to take out set angle. And obviously, you would need to do none of this if you have a committed group of actors who are willing to stand around and uh, let you do stuff. All right, so um, now I'm going to show you a new command that uh, Robin Walker actually like um, finally showed some favor towards Machinima creators and uh, put this in. This was something that was just in. Uh, the Valve version of Team Fortress 2 until recently, so thanks to Robin Walker for doing this. You're going to go into the console and enter tf underscore test vcd, it's also test rr, which I haven't quite figured out yet, and enter in per, uh, quotes scenes, because it defaults to the tf directory, not the scenes directory, so make sure you put that in. Scenes slash pinky dot vcd. And let's see if that works. And uh, let's have Brain's response here. Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Alright, and that's it for today. I'm glad that I finally got this tutorial done, but I think now it's in a working enough state that hopefully you all can create some interesting Team Fortress 2 Machinima. Thanks for watching. The Pinky and the Brain, yes, Pinky and the Brain. One is a genius, the other's insane. In laboratory mice, the team has a The Pinky, the Pinky and the Brain, 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 Brain. brain.